So this is Danchan. What za'atar is to the Levant, what Creole seasoning is to Louisiana, this is to Yunnan, China. Something that's both a foundational mix and, importantly, a way to add a lot of flavor while making the cook's life easier. What this stuff is, is toasted chili pepper, some good Sichuan peppercorn, white pepper powder, fennel seed, and ginger, all seasoned with salt and a healthy hit of MSG. Now, at the most basic level, how you use the stuff is this. First, you take a thing. Second, you dip thing in danshan. And third, you eat and enjoy your thing. And that thing can be basically anything. There's even these GMM-style taste tests over on the Chinese internet. But most classic in Yunnan would probably be either grilled potato or grilled tofu, which we'll swing back to in just a sec. But another common choice is fruit, kind of akin to chili salt in Southeast Asia or maybe tahine over in Mexico. Our personal favorite on that front is sour green mango. But like, honestly, practically any fruit can work pretty well. Alternatively, you can also mix your fruit with the stuff, which is actually our preference, roughly one tablespoon worth per 100 grams of fruit. If sour green mango is a tough source for you, Another thing we really like here is pineapple, given this treatment. And for a similar, not fruit, option, an acid-set fresh cheese called rubing is one local specialty in northwest Yunnan. It's commonly seen pan-fried and then dipped, this sort being one option among a couple. It's pretty straightforward to make. You can sub rubing with halloumi or paneer, what we're using today actually, and then slice it into about half centimeter sheets. Then just toss three tablespoons of oil to a wok and season the oil at first with a half teaspoon of salt. Then just fry those over a medium high flame for about one or two minutes or until it gently browns. Then flip them and repeat. Then just remove, drain, and devour with danchan. But of course, when it comes to a dry dip, we can't really talk danchan without covering the foreshadowed baojiang dofu a crispy on the outside, melty on the inside, Yunnan style of tofu from which it's practically inseparable. This tofu variety would be the kind of thing that someone in Yunnan would just purchase at their local market. But for us outside, conveniently, the stuff gets its unique texture, not with some kind of crazy coagulation technique, but via a simple alkaline treatment. Just start from any block of firm tofu, slice it into about half centimeter sheets, and then place them into a bowl. Then just add in two grams of salt, eight grams of baking soda, all with 400 ml of water, and then let it sit for about eight hours. Then after that time, drain out the water, rinse off some of that soda, and then pat dry. To cook them, in Yunnan, grilling is by far the most common route, but you can also get there slightly less conveniently by pan frying in a cast iron. Heat up the pan, touch of oil, about a tablespoon, and fry those over a medium-low flame for about eight minutes each side, though word of warning, flipping can get a little awkward in a pan. Either way, just remove, toss on a plate, and devour with danchan. Now, that's all pretty straightforward, but I do think it's actually as a wet dip that danchan's versatility really shines. Because like throughout Southwest China, there's this really cool homestyle way of eating vegetable, which we covered before in our previous vegetable and water video. Basically, what you do is toss some vegetables in boiling water, basically anything relatively hearty you've got, shut off the heat and let the vegetable naturally cool down in it. It's a super low stress mise for the cook because you could toss it on the table immediately or just let it sit on the side for 30, 60, 90 minutes, whatever, as you're doing other stuff. All the flavor then comes from the dip. You just ladle four tablespoons of the veg boiling water into about one tablespoon of the danchan, mix, and then that's seriously that. It's just a delicious and crazy simple way to eat a lot of vegetable. But from there, you can also build off that base. For example, one classic might be to then mix that mix with a bit of soy sauce and aromatics. And here, we enjoy some minced ginger and scallion together with our vegetable and water. Or alternatively, dip-wise, you can also go oil-based. 
one tablespoon of danchan, two tablespoons of oil. Heat it up to about 120 Celsius and then mixed in. Then just toss in some soy sauce and aromatics. Here we went with some minced garlic together with a bit of mint. Mint because this dip is incredibly delicious, devoured via some thinly sliced stewed beef shin. Super simple, recipes in the description. But then, in addition to those simpler dips, you can also use danchan as a sort of base flavor for more complicated Yunnanese mixed dishes. For example, a classic potato dish in Yunnan is something called jiayang yu. It's the kind of thing that you can find on the street pretty much all throughout the province. To make it, you first deep fry some chunks of potatoes, preferably something on the waxier side like a fingerling. Then transfer over to a mixing bowl. No need to drain or anything. Add in one tablespoon danchan, eight teaspoon each salt and MSG, a teaspoon of sesame paste diluted with another teaspoon of sesame oil and a quarter teaspoon Sichuan pepper oil, a clove of minced garlic, and some spicy red chilies. Toss with a teaspoon of toasted sesame seed together with a healthy handful of cilantro and eat with a skewer for maximum authenticity bonus points. Or maybe another option might be something like a dye flavor rice noodle. This was 150 grams of fresh rice noodles, and feel free to swap for something dried and boiled. Tossed with pineapple chunks, have cherry tomato, julienne carrot, sliced onion, cilantro, culantro, garlic, and sliced red chili. This then was then just mixed in with a danchan based sauce, full components of which are up here on the screen. Combined thoroughly, and then served in a big bowl. Or, I don't know. Maybe you're feeling a little frisky and want to try the stuff as Western food. I mean, sure. Totally. Like, yogurt plus danchan plus a touch of salt is way more delicious of an American-style dip than it has any right to be. Or maybe you want something a little different for your hot wings. Hot sauce, butter, big handful of danchan, why not? Or for a couple ideas a little more Yunnan-inspired, how about some pounded garlic, fermented tofu, rice vinegar, danchan, and Sichuan peppercorn oil, all tossed together with the same wings, together with some cilantro, culantro, and scallion. Or maybe a salad, with some of those same dai flavors that we used before. Pineapple, cucumber, paneer, danchan, minced garlic, and chili, the herbaceous usual suspects, seasoned with salt, MSG, and a bit of Sichuan peppercorn oil. Tastes pretty Yunnan, but it wouldn't be out of place at a cookout, I don't think. No, of course, I am aware that this was all pretty rapid fire, so we will give you full detailed written recipes for all of this stuff. But the fundamental point is this. This is a seasoning mix that belongs up there with the world's greats. It's super versatile, and it belongs in your cupboard. And luckily, this isn't the type of thing that's super obscure or anything. Besides being quite available online, it's also highly probable that your local Chinese supermarket also carries it. So when you are buying this kind of stuff, um, besides Danshan, uh, the classic, there's also the Danshan Tomatela, which is extra spicy and numbing. Uh, then you will also see some other brands. Sometimes you would often see like 9 plus 1 or something like 2 plus 1 or 1 plus 1. Uh, that's like a common tray on their packaging. So right, check out the recipe in the description box. A big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos. Great supermarket if you're ever in Bangkok, by the way.